Okay, I bought one of these here, uh, Matebo <coughs> Power Max drills. Really, really nice. I uh, can't get them this size anymore. I really like it. It's a nice, convenient size. And uh, the battery eventually goes. Both batteries that came with it went on it. Went on them. I think they're nickel metal. I think they're not uh, MIMH. I think they're just regular NICADs. So I began to take this apart here. And I thought maybe I'll just do a video on here because of what I'm going to do. I'm going to convert this into a... Uh, a battery, another battery one. I, I'm not going to get any kind of batteries like this. I have these here kind of batteries here that I can charge up. Very easy to get, C size batteries. So I'm going to convert this using um, regular rechargeable batteries, nickel metal hydride ones, that are very easily able to get a, a hold of instead of buying these kind. And I'm going to replace this, but I'm going to do it in, in such a way where the battery pack is going to be on the outside, and I'm just going to use this as a cartridge to fit inside the drill itself. And then I'm going to use the uh, transformer here, the power supply, and cut the cord and use that to be hooked up to the batteries. And uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do this here. I'm going to convert this now using regular uh, rechargeable batteries that you can get off the shelf. Okay, that's coming up next. Okay, so as you see, what I did is I tore out these here old batteries here, right here. And I want to save this part right here. This is the part that plugs into the battery charger. I'm going to save that part. These here tabs, I broke off the batteries and put them back in the position here because that's what's going to make contact with the drill. Out of these batteries out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here socket off and I'm going to reuse this socket. So I'll uh, cut the wires here where they go to the batteries here. I'll get rid of these. I'll just get these off the batteries here. I only need two, but I'll just go ahead. I'll get rid of everything else here, and this is what I'm going to put back on. I'm going to uh, see where this here hooks up to on the thing itself, and then use those bars to go back into here. Next thing I'll do is I'll cut the wire off of here. This is off the uh, power supply itself, the uh, charger. I'll give myself enough wire here that if I want to use the circuit again, I can. I'll get rid of how. I'll uh, use this here cord now. I'll set this to the side. I won't need this for this project. I might use it for something else though. And I'll get these wires out of here now. Strip a little bit and see what's going on here with this. Okay, there you go. There's the one ground cable right there. So, Alrighty. That'll work out good. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll test and see where the plug it. I'll see where these wires, these two wires right here, go into this here area here. Find out where those wires are at, and then those wires will get connected to the uh, battery. This part here will then go into the into the supply here, back into here, and back into the cartridge. And this part here, right here, this part will get uh, soldered on to a battery set of battery terminals here that the batteries will go into. So let's just take a look at, uh, see the continuity now between these wires here and here and find out uh, the designations of these. It's convenient. This is already color coded here on the socket. So we have the uh, black wire here and the yellow wire. The white wire has a diode on it, so we can get rid of that. We know that we're not going to use that with the diode, so get rid of that completely. I don't need that. So now if I follow this here yellow and black wire here, and then I'll restrip this, and then uh, that should just go right in place with it. So let's just go ahead and get this again. get rid of the white and uh, keep the brown and the yellow and then we'll plug it in with this here and see if there's continuity okay so what we'll do we'll plug this now into here again the way it's supposed to go and we'll check and see if the yellow is continuity with yellow and the brown and brown most likely it is just to verify. Get 
heaps out here. Okay, so let's put the uh, yellow to yellow here. This yellow here to this yellow here. And we're getting continuity. Brown to brown. And we're getting our continuity. Okay. So, of course, the uh, wires do match out the way it's supposed to like that. So we can get through the white wire here. And so now we have is this part here now, right here, will get soldered on to the battery pack here. And then this will go back into the module here. And then these will get uh, soldered on to these points right here now. Okay, I'll put some tape over this right now. Since I don't have no glue, I'll just put some tape there for right now. I'll keep it isolated from the other one. I'll do the same thing with the other one too. Plus, it also keeps the connection together, too. Main thing is isolation from each other. Alright, I'll put it back inside here now. It's just a little bit of spring steel. It's not even spring, it's just a very, very thin piece of metal that's uh, very easy to shape. And, uh, just slides over these little plastic terminals here, like that, and then you can get bent back over back a little bit here because that's going to go inside. Now we can put this here part inside here now. So then this here slides in here like this, and then the cap goes on like this on the other side. And then the screws go in. The screws that go in here are torque screws that come out of there. And uh, they used a number T6. They used T6 screwdrivers. Things wired inside here, as we did. I put this here in here like this, and I'm running this off my bench top supply right now just to check it. But I found out something here. 
about this kind of drill because this is running off of a, uh, a probably pulse width modulation to give you the variable speed, things like that. There's electronics in here. And that means is that there has to be a certain way that these wires get hooked up to no the negative and positive. I had this hooked up one way on my supply here, and I was shorting out my supply and the voltage was dropping down. And I checked through the wiring, make sure there's nothing, there is no, uh, nothing touching, nothing shorting out inside the wiring that I did, you know, the, so nothing shorting out there. So then I switched it back and forth here, and then I realized that the polarity, the polarity on the uh, input wire here has to be a certain way. There has to be a, a negative on, I think, is there the, the yellow or the white one? I have to check it again here. But one has to be negative and one has to be positive in order for this to work. If you put it the other direction, the uh, drill itself will short out the supply. And again, that's only because of the electronics that's in this here drill. And because of that, it has to be uh, designated a uh, polarity on the switching as well. Now, let's see, I have the supply on here. I'm going to put the uh, yellow, which is a positive. I'm going to put the positive to the white here and put the ground to the yellow. Okay, it, it, the, on my supply, the current went up without the battery being on. Therefore, that's backwards. So I put the positive onto the yellow and ground onto the white. Now, the battery, now my power supply is staying stable and I now have, I now have the uh, supply working properly. So I have, to, I have to write that down, that the negative goes to the white. White is always the negative side of the supply going into the drill. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this now soldered onto the battery supply now, the portable battery supply that we're making. And this is just a couple of C-sized battery holders that I think I got from all electronics or one of those places like that. No order. One of those places I got it from. I have left over from other projects. All I'm doing is making a battery bank here. By taking the original batteries out of here, that were once in this here case here, getting rid of those because they were burned out and they were no, no good, and eliminating the battery charger itself and using the cord off the battery charger that would go into here, converting this over from batteries to just a simple wires coming in now, and then the battery charger wire here connected to a separate bank of, of uh, batteries here now. I now have the convenience of using the drill again. Plus, I have the convenience also of being able to switch out the batteries to a different kind of batteries if I wanted to. I have access to the batteries very easily. I can unhook the cord here and store it away and store this away separate. And I now have my drill back and I can now use it again. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.